Today's Drunken Review is brought to you by Strawberry Daiquiris. Strawberry Daiquiris, which in the hands of the nice bartender at the local theme restaurant, is a very refreshing beverage. But in the hands of my wife will leave you completely floored and possibly suffering from concussion-like symptoms. Love you, honey. So I don't really have a very long-winded story about how I ended up with this figure except that my two daughters decided to play a joke on my son and put a plastic snake in the bed with him, scared him half to death, so he wanted to get revenge and I figured, hey, two birds with one stone, and we ended up with this. I can honestly say lessons were learned and my two daughters know now not to uh, play pranks on their brother. Needless to say, this is a pretty awesome spider mode. I mean, if it was scary enough to make my daughters, one of my daughters shriek, then I feel like it's good enough <laughs> as a uh, transformer. The spider legs are very flexible and they can hold a pose pretty well. Uh, you can see the kibble at the bottom under there. But I mean, all in all, this is a fantastic spider mode, uh, alternate mode. I mean, look at the red paint, the texture, everything about this just reads Black Widow Spider. She comes with one weapon. And there actually is weapon storage. You just kind of plug it into the little pegs at the bottom and you kind of end up with this egg thing egg sack a microphone i don't know what this is supposed to actually look like with it there but i, I guess so me personally i try to put it in on the the other way around but yeah um, yeah it doesn't really want to stick too well but i mean it could fit under there but uh when you try to put it down it falls right off posing for this mode includes but is not limited to Predacon Web Sling Spider-Man Edition Awkward and Heavy First Day at School Backpack Instigating the World's Most Lopsided Beast War Cyclonus and Scourge Leading Cliff Jumper to a Trailer Surprise! And now he's spider food. Transformation is pretty awesome and straightforward although for some reason no matter what I do the arms just keep popping off but when all said and done you end up with a extremely show accurate figure and this is a pretty cool figure I really enjoy it we also need to revisit her weapon and even that's done fairly nicely it's pretty cool although when you're putting it in her hand I just advise sliding it all the way down in a semicircle because if you don't it's just gonna look weird and awkward and when I was fiddling around with her, I realized that her weapon is blast effect compatible. So that's pretty cool. The head is on a ball joint. The arms, once you remove the uh, arachnid legs, can do a 360. Arm rotates at the bicep. Leg goes back that far, almost all the way back actually. It's pretty cool. It's part of transformation and go forward but it's hindered a bit by the back of the arachnid mode and we have the ankle pivot which is pretty cool that it's included on these figures and the knee bends about that far and she can do the full splits but there is not a rotation at the waist posing in this mode include but are not limited to brazilian style sunbathing Distracting Cyclonus so that Scourge can grab Astro Chain's coal car and bludgeon him on the back of the head because he wants to be the number two guy in the Decepticon ranks. Using her feminine walls to subdue Springer while RC is in the bathroom, but RC came out and saw what was going on. Springer not claiming any responsibility for the situation, and RC chasing off black arachnia with a bug zapper final thoughts this is a very fun figure I didn't expect it to be as fun as it was I didn't expect it to look as real as it did and I didn't expect it to scare the crap out of my two daughters 
uh, the way they scared the crap out of my son. But overall, it's a fun figure. It's very fun. I would, out of 10, I would definitely give this one an 8. It's, uh, it's just as, it's not a mini masterpiece, but it's pretty well done and it doesn't suffer from a lot of the problems that the masterpiece figure does suffer from. But uh, overall, hey, if it's out there and you want to add it to your collection, go ahead and pick it up. But until next time, this is the Drunken Prime, cracking open another beer, and signing off.